Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So if this is your first time here, I am a sophisticated lady. If it's not your first time here, then welcome back. So today I'm going to be talking about a niche fragrance by Mancera called Roses Greedy EDP. If you're interested in that, then keep watching. So first off, thank you for watching and I know it's been about two weeks since I've been on. Uh, with all the things that are going on, just need to take some R&R. &R. I don't want to have um, too much anxiety, which I already do. So let's get into this video. I first have um, Mancera Roses Greedy, and this is a niche fragrance. And a niche fragrance is a um, house, a perfume fragrance house that um, markets packages and makes their own and it's not normally in the retail store and the price point is um, normally a little bit higher so this fragrance here rose is greedy i want to give you the notes the notes are on um, the top notes are mandarin peach coconut black currant and the heart notes are uh, french rose jasmine aquatic flowers and the base notes are amber vanilla, white musk, and benzoin. So uh, initially when I spray this, she is powerful. I'm gonna say she is beast mode. So if you are not prepared for all these roses and all these flowers coming at you, then um, just go ahead and think about it. So let's look at the presentation. Look how pretty. She's so pretty. This is a really pretty bottle. It's like an ombre, strawberry color. I'm gonna get light at the bottom. So, um, the top is super strong. It's like glass, nice. So let's go ahead and give her a spray. So you put it on and you twist it. So she fancy, she super fancy. So initially, I get the black currant comes out. I smell roses right away. Put the fan on, let it calm down. Mm, now I smell the peach and I smell um, coconut, vanilla. This is a really nice fragrance. I really like it. And I want to say this is my first niche fragrance because um, I like designer fragrance. I like luxury designer fragrance. I like all fragrance. But sometimes niche fragrance fragrances can get a little pricey so that's not always what I am shooting for um, I also want to tell you um, that this is a feminine fragrance but a lot of guys try to wear it but I'm not sure I would want my um, husband to wear roses you know I don't know I just feel some type of way about it so I wouldn't necessarily want him to have this on um, but this is a fragrance that you wear when you want to have a good time because it's loud so you want to be um, having fun it's a good summer fragrance I will wear this in the summer I will wear it in the spring also um, it is definitely a head turner mm. my husband told me um, I wore it we went to lunch um, the other day and he was like oh your perfume is strong it's so strong and I was like mm -hmm, whatever whatever I'm wearing it it's nice and then um, it calmed down after like an hour so the longevity for this one in particular I'm pretty sure I got about six hours which is good I appreciate six hours out of this fragrance and the price point um, is about ninety dollars eighty ninety dollars if you can get it um, this is the, what is this, the, um, I want to say 60 mil, I'm not sure exactly what it is, um, but it is, yeah, it's the 60 mil because I wrote it, wrote it down, and, um, it's really a nice fragrance, I enjoy it, um, I would like a little more vanilla in it, but it's fine. So, my next fragrance that I have here is my Burberry Black. Boom. My baby girl. <laughs> baby girl. Mama like her. Mm, I like her. So I just want to tell you the notes. This is a designer fragrance. Of course you probably already know that. And the notes here. <clears throat> 
a jasmine flower, peach nectar with um, a touch of rose, candied rose, um, amber, and patchouli. So let's go ahead and check her out with the little tie. I don't know where she's going. Seems like all the um, fragrance um, houses want to put a little tie on their um, bottles. So, eh, it's big. It's nice. Let's give her a spray. Or two. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to let the fan get it right there. Calm her down. So what I feel about this fragrance, I'm so happy about the peach in it because I wanted a peach fragrance. And I wasn't even sure that it had peach in it, but it does have peach in it. So with this fragrance, you get about 8 to 12 hours. This baby want to stay. This juice is not playing with you. This is business. So um, it does have the Burberry DNA. Like all of them have that smooth kind of scent. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it smells delicious. So the price point for this one in particular, I'm going to say was about 60 60 on fragrance.net. And um, I've been waiting to get it for about two or three months because I had so many others on my list. So I waited a while to get this one. But baby, she's a winner. She's a winner. And I would say this is a fragrance that you would wear like on a first date. Like when you want to, you know, go out with your dude or whomever. You go out with him and <clears throat> it's your first date. And you want to impress him. You want something that will draw him in. It's very alluring, very sexy. Uh, very floral. It's a it's a very nice um, fragrance. Something that um, I would purchase again, and I have not purchased any. I have never bought a fragrance twice. So that's just a fun fact about myself. Um, this one does give you a lot of compliments, and um, I just feel really sexy when I wear uh, my Burberry black. So if this is something you're interested in, then um, go check it out. So I have like quite a few um, other fragrances that I've been buying since I've been in quarantine. Or what is it called? Stay put. <laughs> so anyway, I do have another one. This, I don't even know how to say it. It's um, Atelier Cologne. Can you see her? She's a popular one. Now this one, when I wear this one, I'm not going to spray it. You could just call me pound cake. Pound cake, baby. This is pound cake. I'm pound cake when I wear this one right here because it's just a simple vanilla. And I was on one of the um, sites on Facebook. I'm on uh, in a few fragrance groups. And um, someone was like, this is the best vanilla I ever had. And this and other. She didn't lie. I have to spray it. Let me just spray it one time. Don't judge me. Hold on. Yeah. Pound cake, baby. <laughs> pound cake. <laughs> That's pound cake right there. And so, um, I got another one. This one is... What is her name? This is Twilly DMS. I don't know about this little hat. You know, I think it's from London, the little mine, you know, how they um, be dancing and all this kind of stuff. That's what the hat reminds me of, or Charlie Chapman or somebody. So let's go ahead and spray. Ah, child, that's too much. Hold on, hold on. And you know why I got this one. Because she got sandalwood in it. Sandalwood, sandalwood. <laughs> that is the only reason I got this little thing. And it lasts me all day. All day I was surprised but I went in with about I want to say like four four sprays I'm just getting used to spraying more than two sprays I used to be like a light sprayer now I'm getting more um, into it because if you spray too much um, perfume then your nose goes blind or whatever you can't really smell things as much but I know that um, since I've been into fragrances I like the stronger scents I used to like the little wafty scents. Now I need you to give it to me. <laughs> give it to me because I'm going to need it. I'm going to need it right now and everything. So, um, how you guys doing? You guys doing good? Look at my little scary nails. I don't care. I'm just going to put some clear on them. 
I saw a lady um, uh, fragrance, one of the fragrance um, groups said that she had an appointment to go get her nails done and when she got there that the um, lady wouldn't do her nails because she was uh, melanin and she had made an appointment and everything the day prior but she wouldn't get her she wouldn't do her nails because of that so I told you guys so all we gotta do file buff and clear polish and they have something my daughter sent me um, a text and they have some stuff called keratin nail or something at Walmart. And you know, it's just grow, grow, grow. Anyway, I'm gonna get off my soapbox because that's just what it is. I know what's going on. I'm paying attention, I'm paying attention. So um, I wanna thank you guys for watching. And remember, when you smell good, you feel good. And that's all there is to it. Thank you so much and have a great day. She walks and talks so politely, but she'll tell you how she feels. Oh, she's a lady.